suppose we're going to do a new job. So you can name it, whatever you want to call, you can describe it, also store it in the browser or in any ways in this computer, in your computer. Okay, so continue. We have two good options. One is when you start from scratch, and the second one, when you are going to do the assistance. With assistance is the best way to understand the software. So continue. So we're going to follow all those steps, the geometry, the wing walls, the top road rate, the soils, and load. So imagine that we have five meter here, which is the internal height over here. And from the clear span, we're going to have it make it six, make it six. And from the lane axis, I'm gonna make it seven. So the most important thing is this height, this G factor, uh, which is the which is called internal height. Continue. So sometimes you know the the lateral walls, the wing walls, are not as very straight. So it has to have um, some kind of a slot. If we keep it, we keep a zero degree here. It means that this is a, the wing loads, wing walls are going to be straight, continuous. But I'm gonna make it 45 in all of them, just to make something different. All of them, 45. That's, a, that's the easiest way to do it. 45, continue. Okay, the, the yellow color means the field. This is the new, the, the new the new soil that were coming from somewhere, but um, the other color, the in the brown color, means the this is the soil that there is assistance. We have very stable soil over here. So in this case, uh, we have this option, the toll roadway, because sometimes you know the the road have a different slope, but it's a straight, it's orthogonal. You can keep it zero here the axis co coordinates zero and the angle zero degree, just to make it orthogonal. And about the width eight and the height of about bottom slab, I'm gonna make it seven, just to make sure that we're going to have a soil on top. Continue. About these, these soils, we have here some kind of selections um, on the, on the base, for sure, are going to be a very good soil. So it could be something like a gravel or whatever, but or dense sand, sand. From the infill, they have something different because it's coming from somewhere. So the, we have an also a slope angle that we have to make sure about this angle. Normally, it's about 26 degree. Greater than 26 degree means that the soils are going to fall. So it's better, you know, or maybe we have to work with something more stable soils. Um, continue. Well, about the, the loads, we, are, we, we can consider load on top. I mean, it's a steady, steady soil, a steady load, and also on the bottom. If we consider water on the bottom, it's okay. But at the same time, you, you remember the cows coming, you know, crossing. So if you have a tractor, small tractor, small vehicles, you can also the, the introduce that kind of load on the bottom. So on top, you have, at least in this example, a different kind of normative. The first one is the Spanish normative. The second one is the it's something similar like um, a Portuguese or normative. And the the last the last the last ones are French normative, but at, I mean once you select one of those uh, on top according to that normative standards, uh, we are selecting we are adding sixty tons on the road on top of the road, and if we need an extra slab, you know, sort of uh, consider a uh, load consideration on the bottom, so it's like that. Now it's finished. The program give you a resume about this scenario. Okay, so this is the next. I'm sorry, I think I did something wrong. Okay, it's okay. I'm just checking if I made something wrong. 
So finish. Good. So accept it. The software knows that we are working in the video environment. So if you don't want to do to, to be part of that, just unselect it. So the software are doing like this, something like that.